This is a uh, interesting little video of how I keep track of uh, solar power throughout the day. This uh, block right here, this is the dual axis tracker. These three panel jobs are the Canadian Solar and this, this is the uh, tracker all the way out by the street. And you can see the colors change as the sun hits the panels and then you can see each individual panel and the power it produces throughout the day. And again, this is the dual axis, and all the rest of the single axis, and if you watch all of these as they change, they're all pretty much even, which I've said before, I don't really see much power difference with the dual axis over a single axis, but that could be having something to do with where I live. So anyway, I'm going to play this slow, it's pretty cool. This was... Uh, Friday. Guess you gotta back it up. Okay, here we go. You can see the uh, dual axis one's really not putting out any more power than the other ones. And the Canadian solar ones here are really kicking ass. Those are really powerful. Those are the high voltage panels, 48 volts each. And as they go dark, they get shadowed, and that's the end of the day. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's it. Okay, I finally got today's uh, graph up. Today was a nice, cool, bright, sunny day. And you can see if you follow the, uh, the graph here. And my system is 3,280 watts total. So I'm getting 1,000 watts uh, roughly 8 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> and that's 27. 9.30 and it goes up 2,900 for hours and almost hits 3,000 and then it slowly starts to drop and the total power today was uh, 20.4 I believe pretty cool the Senfei system is, uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, this is a little uh, update I got for my Enphase system for the month of uh, January. And we can see here the average max power produced by my array, which is uh, 3,280 watts total. Uh, first week highest power was 2.94 kilowatts, second week was 2.97. And here we're hitting uh, 3.04, so that'd be 3,004 uh, kilowatt, 3,004 uh, watts, 3,000 watts, and again 2.92 watts. So that's out of 3,280 label watts. So when you get a conversion from a label to what you're actually bringing into the house, you know I got like 200 watts missing, 280 watts missing. That's pretty damn efficient. So for the month of January, my total power produced, since I've switched now, I guess it's three or four months, uh, over to the end phase was 425 kilowatt hours for the month. And my last uh, three electric bills have been $23, $16, and I think uh, $19 last month. For an all-electric home, that's uh, pretty good. Of course, it has been very warm considering it's winter time. And if you want to get into the tree deal, there's my uh, carbon impact, which 
I'm interested in my uh, impact on my wallet. So anyway, you get that every month. That's pretty cool. Just thought I'd share that. I'm still learning how to use this system. Alright, thank you. Bye.